Gemini, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. We are going to do your bonus reading, what to expect in love, June, blah, blah, January 2023. <laughs> Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. If you would like a personal reading, you can click the description box below and visit my website to book your personal reading. For today, today only, if you book a personal reading before... Midnight, you will get the same day turnaround for your readings. Right, look around, check out your Gemini playlist if you like it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Let's get in. This children card done came out of every reading today. <laughs> Yeah. These damn kids cop block it, ain't it? What's happening? All right, so somebody has children. Children could be what's keeping someone connected to someone else or you. Um, maybe after you had children, you were not able to enjoy life in the same way. I'm hearing I'm just with them for the kids, all right? So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Let go. Be free. Don't be so focused on, I got bills to pay. I got to do this. I got to do that. Enjoy life. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. So it is a good love. This is true love. Um, but there are some red flags here, okay? Uh, forgiving and learning, okay? Someone could be running the other person off by being uptight, by not focusing on the connection, but holding on to past resentment, Okay? Um, if you are a mommy or a daddy and you just are now focusing on the kids and the household and not focusing on your partner, that's a red flag. That's what sends them out the door to go look for that energy. You also have release your ex. The time has come to release the energy and have a heart to heart, uh, discussion here. Um, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So Starting off, no one should suffer for what someone else did to you. We're going to uh, clarify these cohorts and see what's happening. You have engagement too, so some of you guys, congratulations. You will be getting engaged in the month of January. Man, it's okay, so clarify children. Well, damn, <laughs> somebody just walking away from the kids, like, you know, okay. Somebody wants to go hang out. They could be leaving the kids at home with you or leaving the kids at home with someone else, coming to hang out, party, you know, drink and things like that. I'm telling you, I heard, like, I'm with them for the kids. Like, it's only for the kids. Somebody could be being held to a situation uh, due to children, Okay. Let's clarify faithfulness. Okay, this is a long-term connection here or marriage here, all right? And like somebody's so uptight. They're so uptight about a situation here, all right? They're so uptight, they're not giving into the situation. And whether you believe it or not, you can be as entitled as you want to be. But uh, we speak facts over here. We look at situations from different points of view. 
And um, whoever this is, you may feel like, well, that doesn't give them the right to go out and cheat. Well, if you're not fulfilling your obligations at home, especially when you're married, when you get married, your obligations aren't contingent with you feeling good or contingent with, you know, you feeling like it. I'm going to say that because, I mean, if you're sick, that you get a pass, right? Um, but, you know, it, it's not contingent with you not feeling like it. It's not contingent with you holding on to, you know, hurt or holding on to what had happened was when you forgave them and you're still moving forward, right? It's contingent with you fulfilling your obligations. It's like your job is not contingent with, you know, you wanting to do what you need to do and when you want to do it, right? So you, you're you pushing this person out by putting a block up to yourself or, you know, again, energy is fluid. This is, this is you and your person or this is your person dealing with someone else and then trying to come towards you. Okay, but there's some there's some things that are not, you know, being fulfilled. Like the home is not happy. You know, it's not, it's just not. Okay, let's clarify, make the effort. Yeah, spirit is saying make the effort here. Figure out what needs to happen and make it happen. All right. No one is obligated to deal with your misery. Is your reading so I'm reading for you? Someone here is depressed. Like you gotta come out of depression. Um for yourself, not even for anybody else, for yourself. Somebody's very much depressed um, and, and feeling as though, you know, things aren't going to get better. I do see you coming out of that energy, okay, or you assisting someone to come out of that energy, um, making the effort. Um, Gemini, I feel like you are ready. Knight of Swords, you're very much ready to, to, to move forward. Someone else, you, you know, you're waiting on someone else to move forward. Yeah, this is what this is. You waiting on somebody else to get their stuff together. They got a million and one excuses and you ready. You sitting there like, what you going to do? <laughs> when you going to do it? <laughs> like, and they just really on some other stuff right now, you know? And, and they trying to unravel their energy and focus on this, okay? Let's clarify true love. So far, we got a lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. And also Capricorn. Definitely heavy on the water energy, um, Gemini, heavy on the water side. Um, so this person could see you as an empress, all right? So you could also, you know, be a mother or a father, but this person just feels as though you're very independent. You stand on your own, right? You you, you love them a lot. You, you give a lot of love. This person also feels as though they're not on your level, like you're on a different level than they are. But also, this person has choices. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of choices. Gemini, your energy's here. Yet again, with the lover's card, right? So there's some choices in this situation. Um, you or your person has choices, right? So there's like no forward movement how you want. Because when things aren't aligning with you guys, they just go and do whatever they're doing, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. The red flags are cautioning you. Okay, so this person is, like, this person may not, like, try to get in a commitment with you, but they, like, always want to go out on a date with you, or they always spending money on you, but they not trying to commit to you. Like, it, it, it's, it's what they're doing. Like, they're controlling the narrative that way. Um, <laughs> you know, like, hey, they can't commit to you because they got something else going on, Gemini. Uh, but they, they, they look out for you. They buy you gifts and all this stuff here. You know, they just like, hey, if I can, if I can do this, if they gonna settle for this, then I'm gonna uh, uh, keep going. I can do this all day. Whoever this is, they like, I can do this all day. Uh, but you know, they're not trying to offer you love. They don't see you. They they see you as an empress, but they don't hold you in the regard to wanting to be in a relationship with you. Uh, forgiving and learning. So as you forgive and learn the things from your past and your parents and um, release and heal, grow, you're going to get out of your head. You're not going to feel like it's you're not enough. 
I see you being extremely happy and then things starting to go in your favor, karmic justice, things unfolding for you. But you have to release the past. You have to release whatever, release whatever hurt this is that you're holding on to. And you got to get out of your head. You got to stop being mentally conflicted about what's going on. There is somebody amazing for you. It's just not who this is. Whatever this water sign is, it's not it. Whoever this water sign is. And they can have water in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. Okay, let's clarify, release your ex. juggling uh this water sign and a fire sign there's someone here with fire in their chart if they are not Aries Leo Sagittarius then they they have that energy right very sure of themselves you know they they when they talk they just like you know they know they the stuff self-esteem and check you know when they walk past everybody everybody looks you know when they talk everybody listens right this is what you need to release, Gemini. Whoever this Leo energy is, you got to release this energy here. So it's like you got a water sign not offering you love, and it's a Leo that you need to release. Let's clarify a heart-to-heart conversation. So there's somebody else in your energy, and it's Aquarius. Okay, you, you got choices there. So now you have an Aquarius in your energy, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. There's going to be a call. They're going to call you. You're going to call them. You know, it may start off very good. This is Aquarius. Wish fulfillment. Someone that stands out in the crowd, very intuitive, very intelligent. But they're not going to rush to move towards this situation. Um, you know, they, they may feel like you're drama or start some drama. This person is not single either. <laughs> and they like, no, nah, I ain't about to mess up what I got going on. So you got an eventful month, Gemini, you know, the, the water sign, the fire sign and the air sign. I don't know. I shame. 